The AIM-9X is the latest and greatest variant of an American-made infrared-seeking, fin-stabilized and guided air-to-air -air missile that we've had in development since the early 1950s and is to date the most technologically advanced method of throwing a rock at another human being that our species has ever created. Now as the rocks that we're throwing have become more supersonic and more explody, we've begun to move away from the initial method of human armed combat. Hitting people with a stick. Big sticks, sharp sticks, metal sticks, swords. Now while swords are no longer a viable means of combat for modern day fighting forces, some people have elected to keep it around as an art form. We have some of those people here at the K-State Fencing Club. Now some people have said that my stand-ups and transitions kind of lack the necessary energy with my dead facial expression and my soul size, so fear not, today we're gonna be spicing things up for you guys. There's a lot of grass in my pants. The Kansas State Fencing Club is one of the more dynamic activities and one of the more dynamic groups that I've had the pleasure of talking with here on campus. They meet every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 p.m. here in the Mike Ahern Fieldhouse. Alyssa Probst is the president of that club. I read a book when I was 13 and that was a fantasy type novel where this girl was teaching this prince how to duel and I read the biography of the author, said that she was an FA fencer and then I've always just loved fencing ever since then. I hated sports before fencing. This is the only sport I'll ever play and the only one I'm good at. And are you a space wizard? Can you kill me with your mind? Wait, what'd you say? I'm not a space wizard. I cannot kill you with my mind. I would love pursuing Ready. fencing outside of K-State. I mean, I started fencing outside of K-State. I want to do it my whole life. I think Ready. my dream Fence. is to become a coach at fencing and open my own place, actually. That'd be great. I've only been fencing for about a year and a half. Well, the only sports I did was wrestling and soccer in high school. And so this was kind of just like random, I guess. Like I just joined because my friend wanted to join and I always thought swords were cool. I watched a lot Ready? of Star Wars, Set. so that, and um, I played lots now, of Legend of Zelda, two, so I kind of influenced. I've been fencing, well, since freshman year, so four years. A couple of my friends were uh, here in this club and they invited me in and I've been here ever since. <laughs> I, I guess just, you know, sword fighting with friends, just, you know, a fun thing to do with hanging out with them and, you know, staying in shape as well. I mean, I've been doing cross country on and off for the better part of like eight years now. Other than that, I did a little bit of weightlifting. I'd really like to keep on doing fencing after I graduate. Of course, it depends on where I go and all, but I love it and I would love to continue doing it. Now, despite all the positives that are offered by the K-State Fencing Club, the entire group is affected by one rather unique setback. In order for the club to compete in fencing events, every member of the club must have access to their own gear, from the sword to the suit to the helmet. Uh, due to the fact that these kits are rather expensive, most team members do not have their own and therefore the team is not able to compete in competitions. You can hopefully help change that. Included in the description of the comments section of wherever this video is posted, we should hopefully have a GoFundMe link where you can go to support this team and hopefully allow a lot of these avid swordsmen to compete in competitions. Other than that, you can find more information about the K-State Fencing Club on their website at Org Central, where you can learn who to talk to and where to meet up. It's really chill. We have all the equipment. I'll teach you everything you need to know. Everybody's really nice. It's Friends. the best sport, in my opinion, for athletic people and for non-athletic people, because I didn't do sports at all. So it was, it was fun. It's good.